golden text 1 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 13 wherefore if meat make my brother to offend I will eat no flesh while the world standeth lest I make my brother to offend acquire land for cultivation of fruit trees in your community whether it is mainland or hopland part of the country donate land for the cultivation of fruits whether it is in cross river nigeria or in europe acquire land to plant fruit trees you will see the setup of the garden of eden with your naked eyes the garden of eden means the cultivation of different species of various kinds of fruits extensively when they eventually yield their fruits you can pluck and eat without any problem you will realize that by that time we will have no problem as we begin to live on the prescription of God you will witness the gradual unfolding of the glory of God and a comparatively different atmosphere governing our living all what you witness and feel power happiness joy will not give room for you to be confronted with any difficulty you have been hearing when we say that we are staging a go back to the garden of eden in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, about 99% are no vegans. They no longer have anything to do with flesh. What remains of them is only one hundredth. These are the ones who will complain that what is left for them to do is to stop eating fish. It remains a little step for you to cross onto the other side and have eternal life. It is a very lucky day for all the inhabitants of the world. This is so because I have been treating this subject on the surface, but today it is elucidative and elaborately declared from the highest heaven since God does not wish that we should perish but that we should have eternal life that is why he has sent the Holy Spirit to us at this end of time many people complain that they are bewitched and seek for powerful oracles to consult do not consult any oracle again it is eating meat and fish which is killing you the reason you are recalcitrant with god is that you continue to eat fish and meat what has darkened your eyes and blocked your ears is that you are eating meat and fish from this hour as you have expected him from this hour as you have accepted him you have peace you have seen and heard and the stones are removed from the walls of your heart you have witnessed the illumination of God resolve to be eating fruits only 
All the inhabitants of the world have a testimony from today. All those who are in prison, the sick, the barren, and people with various problems, from today, the Father has taken their problems away. Most of your calamities and encumbrances are the result from eating meat and fish. God has turned his merciful eyes on humanity. He has seen that we are all blind and stupid. And for this reason, he sends the Holy Spirit to lead us, especially those who are in the universities. You fry here, you roast there, you bake and boil your food. Fry no more, because that means death to you. If you want to pass your examinations, eat fruits. Wisdom, wealth, power, peace, beauty, and good health and long life will be bestowed on you. You have heard that in the past, people lived up to eight or nine hundred years. Why was it possible? It was because they were vegans. Today, young people look older than their ages. Some are obese. Obesity is a disease resulting from eating of fish and meat. Brotherhood of the Cross and Star is neither a prayer house, nor service center, nor healing home, nor church denomination. It is the kingdom of God. Since we are back to the Garden of Eden, our food is as was first recommended by God. All fruits and seeds from trees and herbs are our food in this kingdom. If you eat something else, put yourself in prayer. Since we are in the Garden of Eden, that is why we have to be prepared by planting trees, bearing fruits and herbs. The reward for fruitarians. Many of those who are partially blind or do not see their way. If they now begin to practice this gospel by eating fruits alone, their eyes will be opened. Those who are suffering from hypertension will have their blood normalized if they practice this gospel. Many who are certified anemic by practicing this gospel, they will be filled with blood. The blood content of one person can be more than enough to donate to a hundred other people. Those who are left with 10 days to one year or so to depart this world to the world beyond because of their disobedience, by beginning to practice this gospel, thousands of days are added to your days. All those who faces all those whose faces are wrinkled, legs crooked, and are old looking, by beginning to practice this gospel, they will be rejuvenated and will become handsome young men and beautiful women. Because of eating fish and meat, we are disconnected from God. Our link to the fountain of living water is cut short from us, thereby rendering us ineffective. From this instance, the pipe is reconnected to that fountain. You can feel the pulse inside you. You will be surprised to see yourself look very young and smart. The swollen cheeks and protruding belly will be no more. When people look at you, they will see you as a beautiful young person. 
you will be called beauty and people will wonder how you come about such good health and beauty more so all forms of indiscriminate desires will be taken away from you all the troubled hearts exasperation and fighting which are formed part of you will be found no more you will experience relative bliss and concord this in effect is the kingdom we were looking for the knot that had loosened which had caused the world to question what has brought about problems and leading to some leading to some blaming it on women money or other things has today been rightened none of these or other imaginable things brought problems we have been told not to kill and eat animals but to superintend over them i will not be tedious unto you a stroke of the cane is sufficient unto the wise those who have ears let them hear may god bless his holy words amen end of quote peace in the name of our lord jesus christ amen thank you father my fellow inhabitants of the world during the next 15 minutes or so please look carefully and try to listen while the holy spirit of truth is delivering a gospel to the world from the high altar this is what he has been doing from january 1st to december 31st every year for over 60 years right now he is preaching to the world that god and man is one entity that god is in all human beings that we should not look for god in the mountains or in jerusalem or in africa or in the sky or in the church because he is right here in us we must worship God in us that we can only serve God by loving and serving our fellow human beings and so forth. Amen. Please continue listening attentively to all the everlasting gospels because our mortal and spiritual lives hangs on them in the name of our lord jesus christ amen thank you father
down and he does many sacrifices because God, even the Holy Spirit, who is the owner of you, the house, has taken his blessing uh, to his house.